Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdul Rahman. We are in part one of a series of lessons in C sharp using console app. In this lesson, we will have a short introduction of Visual Studio 2017. Later, we will show you how to download and install as well as write and run your first program in Visual Studio 2017 community. Visual Studio 2017 is an integrated development environment from Microsoft. This ID allows us to create programs running in Windows, websites, web services, and even mobile apps running in Windows, Android, or iOS. It supports 36 programming languages, including C, C++, Python, Visual Basic. However, all our lessons in this channel will concentrate on C Sharp. It has three editions. Two of them are professional enterprise editions that, that come from a price. So for beginners and students like me, we can take advantage of its free edition, the community edition. You can go directly to www.visualstudio.com slash downloads to download this edition. You will be directed to a site where you can download our IDE. Notice the fourth option there, the Visual Studio code, which is a source code editor that can run in Windows, Linux, and Mac. Since we are going to install the Community Edition, click the free download button below it. Once the install file has been downloaded, open it, and you will be led to several steps in installation. I will no longer guide you in each step as it could be different in a month or so. Don't worry because Windows installer are always easy to follow. If you have successfully installed it, launch your Visual Studio and you might see a screen similar to mine. Now we are ready to have fun. A click file in new project. A click install. Notice that there are several languages that Visual Studio offers for its programmers. That only shows how rich this development platform is. For this tutorial, we will use C Sharp. We are going to do all our applications in the console, but we can see that there are two options available, consoleapp.net core and consoleapp.net framework. There are several differences between them, but for now, let us just say that net core is cross-platform, which means it can run in Windows, Linux, and Mac, while .NET Framework only runs in Windows. .NET Core is open source, while .NET Framework is not. However, as of now, there are many libraries available in .NET Framework, so that is what we will choose. I will name it CA01 and I will save it in a folder where the rest of the other programs will we we will do we also be saved. On top is the menu which is common to any Windows application. On the right is the solution explorer. A solution can have several projects. Here the solution and the single project inside it are both named CA01. To add a new project in the same solution, right-click the solution, click Add, New Project. Let us use the default name and click OK. Now you can see two projects inside the same solution. The files below or inside each project can be opened by double-clicking its name or right-clicking it, then click Open. Right now, the currently opened file is program.cs from console app one project now we can see 
it on the big area in the sensor. Notice that the extension is CS because we are using C sharp. This means if we use Visual Basic, the extension will, would be VB and for C++ it would be CPP. For now, make sure to double click program.cs from CA01 as it is still the main project. Let's look at the part of our program. Let us do it from the bottom and up. Main method is always the first method that a system runs in a class. A class contains data and methods. Here the main method belongs to the class program. A namespace is a collection of classes. Here class program belongs to namespace CA01. Using states the namespace that will be used in the project. Here we will use namespaces called system, system.collections, dot generic, system dot link, system dot text, and system dot threading dot tasks. Let us add two statements inside main. The console is a class in the system namespace. Therefore, we really only need to use system for this example. Write line and read key are methods inside the console class. Console.write line is a method to display data on our console window. Console.read key is needed for us to see and freeze the console window. After pressing any key, the window will disappear. To see the output, click the start button on top. So, we will discuss them further in our next tutorials. For now, congratulations because you just coded and run your first c -sharp program. Thank you for visiting this channel and see you in the next tutorial about input and output statements.